When friends take you down the wrong path, stop, turn back. Proverbs 1 and verse 10. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. Psalm 1 verses 1 and 2. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. As we continue talking about friendships and human relationships that all of us engage in and participate in, one important truth that the Bible teaches us here is that when we have people around us who try to influence us in the wrong way, like it says in Proverbs, when sinners entice you, you've got to learn to say no. Now, you see, in different contexts and in different situations, we do not have the choice of the people who come across our path. If you're in a workplace setting, you can't determine all the other people who are around you. They've been employed by your boss or by your organization, and so you have to interact with them. Uh, when you go out on business, you're representing your organization, you have to interact with people from other organizations, you have no choice uh, on who comes your way. But as you engage, as we engage with people, whether in the classroom, in the play field, in the workplace, in business scenarios, and so on, we have the right to say no if we see them causing us or see them trying to influence us to do what is wrong. If sinners entice you, Proverbs simply says, do not consent. Don't give in. Don't say okay. Instead, you choose to be like that man Psalms talks about. Uh, a man who's blessed, who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. So he does not accept their counsel. They may, they may offer their counsel, but he says, thank you, but I will not participate in it. He does not walk down the path of sinners. That means they say, no, let's go down this way. Uh, let's engage in this kind of a business dealing where there may be unethical things, or dishonest things. You say, no, I refuse to go down that path. Or there may be friends who may influence you, wanting you to participate in activity or things uh, that may be fun, but they may not necessarily be right. They not, may not necessarily be good. They may not be necessarily wholesome or healthy. And that's when you've got to make your stand and say, no, you can stop. You can turn back. You know, the Bible says in, in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 is what I'm referring to. It says, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Now, what does it mean? It, you know, when you talk about a yoke of oxen, it talks about two animals, two oxen or two bullocks, they, they're going together, they're, they're yoked together and so they're going down the same path, they're doing the same thing. And so when uh, somebody who loves God, who wants to live righteous, gets yoked together with somebody who wants to do what is wrong, that means both of you are going down the same path. It could be a business dealing, it could be any other transaction, it could, and, you, and, 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 and a believer. Uh, has to agree with somebody who is doing what is wrong. He says, no, don't be unequally yoked like that. That's not right before God. So in whatever situation you find yourself in, if there are friends or people around you who are trying to get you do, to do something that's wrong, say no, stop, turn back. If sinners entice you, do not consent. Let's pray. Father, we ask, that in all our relationships, and all our dealings, and our interactions, and in our workings with people, that you will give us the courage to graciously say no to what is ungodly, unethical, dishonest, unwholesome, impure. Give us the grace and the courage to refrain. We ask you in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.